Stop acting like you're an innocent. You are also a criminal and guilty of every accusation. Kasi Mafebua to Governor Fubara. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Aspiring candidate for the 2024 Edo State Natural Election, Kasim Afegboa criticized Governor Simin Alahi for for his perceived disloyalty to predecessor Nelson Mwike. Afegboa questioned Fubara's loyalty attributing it to external influences and gossip. He further scrutinized advisors promoting Fubara's independence, highlighting their absence during Fubara's initial political endeavors. In an interview with TVC, Afebu emphasized the importance of maintaining loyalty as a godson. He cautioned against pretending to be supportive of a principal during favorable times and then rebelling once in power. Afebu urged Fubara not to succumb to external influences and gossip, especially from individuals who played no role in his initial political journey. In an interview with TVC, he said, and I quote, For whatever reason, I will always want to be a good godson. Stop pretending that you, Fubara, love your principles so much while the going was smooth. Why you were trying to get this power? And when you get to power, you're not still listening to side talks, gossips, and person who never contributed to your emergence ab initio. First, as a candidate and even the election itself, and now they want to push you to say you have to be your own man. Where were those people when Fubara was looking for opportunity to preside over the state? Well... This is my question to this is my question to Kasim. Kilo Koembe. If you get to your turn, if you like Dobale, if you like remove your clothes, put it on the floor for your godfather to walk on. If you like anything where you do, this one don't come outside and say you're going to be who asks you for your opinion if you're going to be a good girlson or not. Nobody asks for your opinion here. Coming out to say you are going to to me I feel he's pitching himself. There's nothing yes. I think that is what is going on. I feel saying the pitch himself because if not me, you're going to be a good godson. Who has for your opinion? If not you. <laughs> to me, like I said, to me <laughs> to me you don't suppose follow. You understand? But the thing is at the end of the day, Governor Fubara is the only one to make his decisions. But in my own business, in making a decision, let him be very careful. The people who are around him right now, they are not, they are not, not all that glitters are good. Make I just talk. Them. Who is this one? I bet go sleep. You're on the wrong pedestal and you, your, your stance have given you away as an unworthy of his fall, the governor of Edo State. Poor. This Afeboa can never be a good leader. Thank God he failed. Edo State should take note. He is among the devils waiting for opportunities. How soon? Did you forget what Mike did to Amichi? Please read Matthew chapter 7. Many say, in the get waiting they give. Human beings are those necessarily foolish. Someone have saved you, got you a juicy position, made your life better, but suddenly someone who has never done anything for you shows up and tell you that a man who acts towards you has brought you success, power, stardom fame and goodness is your enemy and you believe that you are moron people are just like that let me also tell you this is not a matter of somebody has done this for you somebody this is a matter of governorship two different things two different things you are kept or you are supposed to be the caretaker of river state you are not supposed to be the caretaker of Mikio. Mwike, this person we are talking about, he has his own appointment in FCT. That particular appointment, that minister appointment, is even looking to that of a governor because he's the minister of FCT, for goodness sake. This is not a matter of somebody who... No. This is not you an ingrate issue. This is, at the end of the day, it is you they are going to hold accountable and responsible. It is you. Okay. Look at the good federalism that is happening in Lagos State. If person no cough, you no go feed work because you are a godfather. I mean, because you're a godson, you will not be able to use your initiative to do things. Yes, now somebody has to do the thinking for you. No, imagine you as a person. Somebody approaches you 
eh, and tells you they want to assist you. And the person tells you he wants to assist you. You started, you know, watching the person and watching the person. And you now notice that this person, by chance, the person when they help can't come. Can't, maybe can't even lament to you. Or no, we say they don't can't even pitch themselves to you. Say, oh, this person that helped you, the person helped you quite all right, but you cannot make your own decisions. You're not allowed to fail. As in, you know, you don't have your own experiences about a particular office. That is why I say you will come outside feeling like you just go there, go waste your time. You are not allowed to experience things by yourself. Get first-hand experience of because somebody is always there to guide you. And do you know that for parents, or well, let me use this scenario now, for children who have parents like that, they don't allow them to fail. Those children, they will never appreciate people will be say, uh, what's it called? People will be say, get, get uh, what's it called? Get first experience. They will never appreciate it. They will think it's easy. I don't even understand where I'm coming from. So this is not a matter of somebody helped you, somebody brushed you off. This is a matter of governance. Like I said, I'm not this one. I'm not even saying for Barash should take what is good for him. Me, I'm after you were put there to serve the state. No matter who put you. At the end of the day, now those people never go get your scorecard. No, okay, which do you want? That you, before men, before over 20,000 people, before over 1 million people, 2 million people, or even 5 million people, you are, you really serve the state well. But one person, you know they, uh, what's it called, you know they in good books. As in, or will you have preferred you to become good to one person? Meanwhile, 5 million people carry you for mind as a bad person. History took it into, it, it was written into history that you were a bad person. No, let's just check him. Like I said, this is not a matter of they helped you and you don't want to show gratitude. No, 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 no. This one is very different. Very, very different. A person who is not a godson that comes in and works for the state, even if not just for four years, one tenure, believe you me, is far better than somebody who stays eight years and you don't get to get first experiences of anything you don't get to take your own decisions you cannot come out and boldly say na me think this thing out na me do one at the end of it i'm like <laughs> like a student will be say they carry you go exam any exam you na just may go sit down they go copy the answer come for you at the end of the day you will not be feeling it when others are coming out feeling proud of themselves, you always have this um this thing why who nobody may get. I know even as they even use dua. You always be at the edge because <laughs> what of if I would they work for this place and they can't tell me I can't prove it and I do. I don't know if I'm making sense. So this is governance. You're not talking about a family issue. Hmm? You're not talking about in-house. Alright, on this note we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.